There is an easy way to turn a 2D user interface into an amazing 3D image render or even animation. To make this happen, you need two things, the vector file of the user interface and 3D software that supports importing SVG files. Obviously, you can create the 3D user interface directly in the 3D software, but it's way slower and less efficient. So let's begin with the user interface design. I am not a UI designer, but I tried to make some in the past, so at least I have some experience in this field. Now, I want to make a user interface for an application that monitors and tracks sleep efficiency and, at the same time, serves as an alarm clock. So that's why I'll name it Wake Up. For the UI design, I will use the iPad version of Affinity Designer since the control on the iPad is faster and more responsive. Also, the reason why I am using Affinity and not Illustrator is that Affinity has a library of iOS assets, like widgets, notifications, icons, buttons, and a lot of other useful stuff for designers. This will make the workflow much easier and 100 times faster than creating everything from scratch. Let's begin with the architecture. The whole process of creating the UI took several hours, but here are some insights. First of all, find some references to already existing UIs to get inspired, and put them into a free software called Purif so you have them all in one place. Create a new project with the screen resolution of the device you will be using for the 3D render, then start with adding boxes, just to get a concept of what the layout would look like. It will help you with the vision of what functions you would like to present with your user interface. You will also need to choose proper colors for your design, but this is not a problem since you can use Colors website to generate different color palettes for different purposes. Try to unite the design of all elements, because that will make the UI look more natural and less diverse. Also, don't just stack the widgets randomly under each other, because this way your layout will look uneven. So make sure you maintain the same spacing between all elements to ensure that everything is in order. I made a lot of changes during the creation of the UI, and that's fine, because that's how you find what you really want to make. With almost three hours of work, I ended up with this final look, which means it's time to export this as a scalable vector graphics file. If you have any text, just enable text as curves in the settings, so when you import the file in the 3D scene, it will include the text as well. Now let's switch workspaces and open Blender or any other 3D program of your choice, delete everything and import the user interface as a scalable vector graphics file. After importing, you can immediately notice that all elements are intersecting with each other, because right now, it is really just a bunch of curve objects with no Z depth, so let's fix that first. For now, you can just hide the background or move it slightly down so it does not overlay with other curves. If you have the same elements used multiple times in your UI, it's easier to join them into one object. The same thing applies also for text, because after importing, the text will be separated into letters and you really don't want to extrude every single letter individually. Then move the elements vertically to recreate the UI again and stack them above each other. When all elements are separated, you will start extruding the curves in curve properties. I would like to fit the whole UI into the iPhone, so in my case, the extrusions will be minimal, but enough to see the visible separation. Text curves should be extruded only minimally, because if you would like to render the scene, the thickness will make the text unreadable from different angles. For single lines, use depth instead of extrudian. This way, you will make a profile around the curve and not just extrude the lines. By repeating this, you will eventually end up with a 3D user interface with different adjustable parts that you can animate. Let's download an iPhone 3D model in wavefront format. Lucky for us, there are free sources that offer high-quality 3D assets, including 3D Sky, Turbo Squid, and CG Trader. So after downloading, import the 3D model into your scene and scale it to the size of your user interface. And then just place the whole collection inside the device. Also, if you put a screen above, it will create some really nice lighting reflections and additional details. Now we need to add colors, which is not a problem since we already have a generated color palette. So go to shading, drop the color palette image into the image editor, and with an eyedropper, you will copy the colors into the principal BSDF shader. It's very efficient because after doing this, you can change the colors anytime you want, which was actually my case. I switched the color theme to ocean blue because blue goes better with waking up in the morning. The UI is done. To summarize this, you basically need to find or create a vector file of the user interface, import it into the 3D program, and extrude the curves to achieve that three-dimensional look. I really hope you enjoyed this 
this video, and if you did, drop a subscribe to Graffinity, so you will be provided with similar videos like this one and you can master 3D graphics and design even faster. With that being said, enjoy Christmas time and see you in the next video.